Hi, this is John Petrucci from Dream Theater, and today I'm here to talk about my 10th anniversary JPX Music Man guitar. The cool thing about this guitar is that it's an evolution. It's uh, a, basically a process of, of trying to get the best instrument possible. When I first started with uh, Ernie Ball 10 years ago, um, the guitar that we created was based on my needs at the time and, and, and what I was looking for in the guitar. Uh, the original one was a lot different. It was made of basswood. It had uh, an unfinished maple neck, uh, rosewood fretboard, had a scoop over here. The shape of the guitar was a bit different. and. Um, you know, but that was what I was looking for at the time, and it's still an awesome guitar, and I still play it, and it sounds great. So it's its own, it's its own tool in my uh, toolbox. Uh, the thing that hasn't changed after all those years is actually the neck shape, because it's my hands really haven't changed. So um, the neck shape has been the same for 10 years, and it's the most comfortable fitting neck shape for me. I always say I have kind of like an average hand size, so I think a lot of people find this comfortable. And also, uh, from the time that I was growing up, a lot of the guitars that were popular had this kind of neck where it's a bit, uh, it's, it's a bit sort of thinner and it's, it's speedy. It's not like the big baseball bat necks of, uh, of long ago. So that's what I fell in love with when I was, you know, learning to play guitar and teenager and uh, my early 20s and whatnot. So. The neck hasn't changed. Um, then came the BFR model, which is very similar to this. This is actually a BFR, um, but the BFR introduced now the wood combinations, the maple top, the guitar is made of alder, it has mahogany tone block, the uh, neck is mahogany, the back of the neck is painted, so a bunch of changes were made, and of course the shape was slightly changed. Um, and also, I should mention, the pickups were changed a little bit along the way as well. Um, they've always been DiMarzio, but also with DiMarzio, we, we kind of tweak the pickups as we go. Um, but we've always continued um, with the two humbucker. That hasn't changed from the beginning. And uh, I should mention also, the other thing that didn't change is um, the bridge. This bridge was custom made when we first got together 10 years ago. And uh, everything about it, it just I still love. And uh, it feels great. It sounds great. And has the Paizo system, of course. So that brings us to the 10th anniversary. Um, basically, I guess I can look at it this way. Uh, all, all of the different elements of this guitar were presented at different times along the way. Let me explain. Um, a while ago, they presented the Dargi uh, guitar, which was a version of the BFR, but it's an opaque sort of green sparkle finish. So that made me think, hey, you know, I kind of like that. I mean, I love the I love the clear finish. You can see all the beautiful woods. They're all gorgeous. But I sort of like the guitar in an opaque finish. So that green sparkle, especially under the stage lights, looks amazing. Um, so I always wondered what a darker colored sparkle would look like. They made a black one for me that had almost like a gold flake. And then uh, I'm a fan of uh, of purple, of like really deep dark purple. So we did a, a purple version. That's where the color came from. Um, the darky also inspired the uh, the fretboard, um, the ebony, and that's something you know. The guitars have always been rosewood, but with I think with the opaque and the dark color, just the dark ebony looks incredible to me. And so we incorporated that onto the guitar. We also made the frets a little bit bigger. The reason for that is, uh, you know, I love the frets that are on the BFR and on the original. They're very comfortable, but. I've had a bunch of guitars made with the frets a little bit bigger and it's sort of like I can't decide, basically. So I said, you know what, on the 10th, I'm just going to make a decision and we'll put the bigger frets on. So that guitar, if I want bigger frets, I'll grab that one. So uh, that's, how, that's where the frets came from.
Another inspiration was uh, when they built the stealth version of my guitar. That was the first time that I saw the guitar with all black hardware. I thought that would kill her. So once again, you know, I make the phone call, could we make a BFR in a stealth version? So all the black hardware, black pickups, that all came from that stealth model. The, the other thing I, I mentioned a little bit earlier is the DiMarzio pickups, they, they have evolved as well. This guitar has uh, in the bridge position a crunch lab and in the neck position a liquefier. And then the shape of the guitar and the five way and the chambering really came from the 25th anniversary model. Uh, when I played that guitar, that, that introduced the chambering, which I thought sounded awesome. I thought that 25th anniversary sound, it's, I think it sounds great. When I plugged it in, I was like, wow, you know, we got to try this to my guitar. <laughs> it was another phone call. Sterling, can we do a, uh, you know, JP chambered? Um, and we tried that. We actually tr had a, a prototype and we ended up using less, a little bit less chambering. So this guitar uh, the chambering is all in this area here. I noticed right away when I you know, took the guitar out of the case and started strumming, the guitar is loud without even being plugged in. 25th also had the five-way switch, so we introduced that. I've always used these three-way toggles that I love, but I figured, you know, all right, let's try something different for the, for the 10th anniversary. We'll, just, we'll do a five-way, make the commitment. This way it's another option. So that's the five-way. And the other thing is the body size. The 25th, um, I forget how much bigger, but they made it bigger. I don't know if it was 20% bigger or something. Um, and when I tried that, I was like, wow, I, I kind of like the guitar being a little bit bigger. It makes me so, it, it fits with my body a little bit better. So I said, let's make my guitar a little bit bigger. question, uh, I asked Drew what the guitar would look like if it was symmetrical, meaning the, the BFR, if you look at the guitar, the picture of it, it kind of like leans a little bit, and the bottom horn and the top horn aren't the same size, the top one's a little bit bigger. Uh, when, you know, initially with the BFR, we sort of knocked out this horn so you can get more access here when you do those big stretchy licks, so in, in knocking down out this horn, we had to make adjustments to the top one, and that's what the BFR came out to be. But I said, well, what if we made the guitar body not only bigger, but symmetrical, so that the whole, like, the hips here were the same, and the two horns were the same. What would that look like? It's just a sort of sleek, uh, faster-looking version of the guitar. This guitar is the latest and greatest in technology, experimentation, tone, feel, look, all that good stuff. Basically, this guitar is an evolution uh, of my JP model over the last 10 years. So, the opaque finish, the ebony fretboard, the larger frets, the all-black hardware, the five-way switch, the chambering, the larger body and the symmetrical body shape, meaning the hips and the horns, um, are all basically uh, a result of me, you know, trying to pursue new and, uh, uh, you know, advances in technology and, and design, and I love the guitar. It's absolutely beautiful, plays like a dream, it's a fast, sleek machine, it sounds incredible, and I'm really, really happy with it, I'm really, really happy to be with Music Man for 10 years, so very fortunate and very grateful. Thank you.